All right, here's a follow-up video on the CX bolt-on kit and everything we've had to change on the kit because it's not very bolt-on. We uh, Let's start with the uh, drain. We had to fabricate a drain for this because the... Do you have the Teflon or the braided one? Well, the, the braided one that it comes with doesn't fit over the, uh, this guy. Doesn't fit over the drain they give you for the turbo. Ours is covered right now, but this one. Nowhere near fitting, like, ever. So be prepared for that. We made this one hard line the whole way. This is where we drilled for the, the oil pan. If you do it just a little bit to the left of this, you won't hit the second plate in the uh, oil pan. There's like a dual liner. So if you do it like right there, perfect. Uh, let's see, what else? Once the turbo's on, you'll never be able to change your spark plugs. They're down there. So make sure you change them before you do this. Because you're going to be removing the turbo to change spark plugs. If this were in the car, putting the manifold on would suck. I'm trying to get this right here. Because... There is no room right here. So you have to have a open-ended wrench to get it. And with the firewall being right here, just tight fit everywhere so far, especially on this one on the front too. Right there, I mean, that gap is tiny. Uh, some other things we changed because we're trying to make this actually work we welded studs onto the turbo flange or the manifold flange and also the wastegate. Obviously not required, but if you don't, I don't know how you're going to get sorry. They, you'd have to put a bolt on this, so you'd have to be back in here with a wrench to get a nut on the bolt or on the head of the bolt however you decide to put the bolts in same with this one they would just be awful to get to let's see uh, we are working on the waste gate the banjo bolts that they include are too long and they bought them out right here so you get it super tight, and this still spins. I don't know, I guess common sense things aren't made for CX racing. The other one, the kit comes with this block, comes with the feed, but they don't include anything else. So you'll have to find a, a plug for this side, and you also have to find a male to male to adapt it to your oil filter housing on this side. But that's where we're at for now. We'll get it all bolted up and uh, put together and we'll see how the, the inner cooler fits. Oh, speaking of that, it's probably a, a common thing when putting an intercooler on a 240, but just to be aware of. Uh, the bolt they included for this to mount, if you can, can do the singular mount in the front, is too short. Um, you have to trim these brackets here in order to get the intercooler to mount back against here. Otherwise, the intercooler would be sticking out like this far away from from right here 
So we trim both sides of these. And we're going to have it try to sit as back and as flush as possible to the car. That's about it for now. We're making progress. We got battery tray cut out. We got new motor mounts going in. Place of the old ones. Uh, that's about it. We got downpipe laying out here. Old motor mounts. I mean, it's taking a while, but it's getting there. Stay tuned, we'll keep it updated. Another thing worth mentioning is we noticed that when we put the downpipe on, it'll sit roughly right here, and there will be no way to get your O2 sensor plugged into that. And if it is, it's going to be sitting against the valve cover. So when we get in the car and get it a little closer, we'll try to figure it out, but we might have to move that bung. There's like 99% chance we'll move it.